Good morning, traders. Morning, Asia, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Privateer FX. Bringing you the uh, North American wrap and the Asian preview. <clears throat> so it all booted off in your session. You guys had by far the best uh, trading session in foreign exchange yesterday. Let's see here. Uh, this bar here was when the Trump tariffs were announced and, uh, you know, it had, uh, or was it, what are we on here? We're on the 240 chart. Sorry. Um, let me get to the 60 minute chart just to show you the price action. You know, so so last yesterday evening, my time, your morning, we had a, a nice sell off from you know 128.50 area, got all the way down here to 128, 126.65 was a low. You can see this bar right here. We have the pointer, <clears throat> just kind of out of nowhere in the in the North American morning. Um, we had a little bit of a pop, and then it you know kind of was grinding higher into early Asia. Let's t see here this horizontal line. This was our break point 127.70. How cute is this? What did we get up to a couple hours ago? 127.70. It's a big pivot now and we're you know we're we're selling against it. We sold some up here at 127.60. Um, you know, this is kind of my bull bear line right here get back above it, then, you know, be looking for kind of a false break. If we go over to the daily chart, here's the daily bar from yesterday. You know, we get, we got down, it had a big, had a big, big move down, but then it, it closed well off its lows. This is typical of just, uh, we'll pop over and take a look at the, um, the S and P's same type of bar, right? So this long, bottom tail and uh, you know it rallied from let's go to the hourly so you can see how powerful this rally was people clearly do you not know, think these this tit for tat tariffs matter um, you know they thought it did when it went down to 2735 last night and then right back up um, we rallied 30, almost, yeah, almost 35 handles off the lows. You can see here we, uh, we're not doing much here in the S&Ps right now, but, you know, the market continues to just ignore how important this, uh, the tariff chatter is between the U.S. and China and the U.S. and Canada and Mexico and, you know, you name it. Um, you know, Dollar Max had, uh, look at the daily chart here, tried to go higher today. On, there were some headlines out, you know, typical BS NAFTA headlines. Closed pretty much unchanged. Uh, this is an area that we've been focusing on here, this 2048 to 2050. Still think it has a chance of... Um, of trading lower, I'm trying to delete this, there we go, got some of these old Fibonacci's in here that are, uh, well, oh, they're, they're old, they're very old, so clean up that chart a little bit, um, you know, we still think the tariffs are a big deal, we, we, you know, we like selling rallies and risk, so things like Australian dollar, dollar yen, you know, dollar yen is back up. If you look at the hourly chart, it's interesting how we're, uh, we're getting really, you know, we keep getting up here close to this 200 hour moving average. And if you, just for confluence, we'll go to the daily. You can see the daily, the 200 day moving average is 110.23, which we closed below um, on Tuesday. You know, again, a long wick, but I'm starting to 
get more comfortable with selling selling these rallies in uh, in both dollar yen and cross yen. Um, you know, euro yen. Like I said, it, it went back and tested this uh, this breakdown. If we could see it better on the 240. This area right here, 127.70. So we're going to keep selling that. You know, your stop is is somewhat generous. I mean, this 128.50 area looks pretty important too. So anywhere kind of in this 127.70 to 128.50, this 80 point zone is probably a good place to sell. Um, you know, what do we have tomorrow? We've got the Sintra is going on. So we got a, a whole host of speakers. Um, tomorrow morning, it's right on the um, right on the equity open. So Kuroda, Draghi, Powell, they're all talking right around the equity open tomorrow. So that's important. Uh, we need to pay attention to that. Uh, you know, Euro had a, a bit of a rally with, you know, Yuri dragged it up during New York. I mean, overall, the market was watching the World Cup again today. And this is no joke. I've been in this business for 20 plus years. World Cup is on. The market's watching. And we really just didn't do much of anything. We just were grinding higher. I mean, if I look back at the, uh, you know, when I got in, which was kind of right around here, 5 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, we just kind of grinded higher. Nothing major. That bar is kind of big. But it's a very listless market. We still like Euro having a, another test of these old lows. Um you know, down here at this 115, 1015. There's no reason why that can't continue lower. Um, you know, we've got this big Fibonacci that we've highlighted several times. The the half Fib was 114.56. I still think it gets there. It could get there this week. Um, you know, but it pays to be nimble and capture your pips and don't have too strong a view. I know some of us got uh, caught short uh, yen, dollar yen and yen crosses. And we had this big 70, 80 point rally in Euro yen during the New York session. And, you know, it's just, it had come a long way. Market realized maybe it wasn't that as big a deal. And it's just Trump talking tough. And this could carry on for several months. And we don't think the whole trade dispute is going to uh, just end overnight. So should be good volatility for shorter term traders like ourselves. And, uh, you know, we're going to stay nimble and we're going to take advantage of, uh, of the, of the heightened volatility. So anyhow, you'll hear from us on the European open. Um, thinking about starting a podcast which would be a little bit longer where we can really dig into some charts um or even a you know a video uh a vcast um where we would spend maybe 15 to 20 minutes so that's something uh something we're, we're throwing out there and uh we'd appreciate your response if you think it would be good because we have a few other tools that we like to look at, but it, you know, it takes a little bit longer to get through all the charts and um, your uh, your response would be, uh, your feedback would be great. So anyhow, I will be traveling. You will not hear from me for several days, um, but you'll hear from my colleagues over on the, uh, on the European time zone. And good luck trading. Cheers. Bye.